All right, mystery so, question. Yeah. Pick whichever one Are you like. ready for your mystery <laughs> day? <laughs> Don't be late. <laughs> Open the door for your ah uh, mystery Will day. Will he be a day? Will he be a, was a dream? Or a dud. Or a dud. Right. Oh. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. The fun continues with the fabulous Rob Paulson and Maurice LaMarche. We're getting buzzed again. Oh, but I do want to, because we, we mentioned this before, but um, if anyone has not gotten Oh, thank you, sweetie. This? Yeah. I think, what did I read it? I think I read it in like three hours. Did you I, really? I did. Oh, thank I you. I was like. Right? Evelyn Wood. Wow. No, I mean, I love it. And I, and I will read no. it again because I wanted to be, oh, you know. thank you. Well, the audio but book is good, too, because the characters lessons, show up. Rob Paulson. Oh, thank really? You, That's yeah. cool. How, how has it been since it came out? How is it being received? Uh, Do you feel different as an author? <laughs> oh, as an, as an author. Look, uh, that, it says very clearly, <laughs> with Michael with Fleeman. Michael Fleeman, yeah. Michael Fleeman uh, was it Fleeman? We got to say that because every time every, Fleeman. Fleeman, I love you, Mike, but Fleeman, Fleeman, um, he's a that's all he does is write books and teach at Cal State Northridge. And um, boy, do you understand the the uh, skill of a writer mm -hmm. when you essentially dictate your life, yeah, uh, and then it's written in a way that makes it interesting. Boy, is yeah. my life fascinating. After Mike got a hold of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the reason I wrote the book um, was uh, well-meaning fans say to a lot of us, not just Mo and me, but, oh my gosh, your career, you should write a book. And honestly, the last thing that I thought the world needed was uh, another celebrity memoir, especially from a non-celebrity. And it's not false <laughs> modesty. Like most, we, we don't draw them, we don't write them. It's not like being Brad Pitt. People don't stand in line going, I can't wait for the next Rob Paulson cartoon. Doesn't work that way. Maybe someday, but not right now. However, a couple of years ago, I had throat cancer. Yep. And now I thought I've got now I got a story, because um, what I've learned uh, that both of us have, and we've been touching on it um, the whole show, is that the power of these characters is nothing short of extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the way that the characters got me through my own time in the cancer cage, because I saw how they affected all these children and their parents who Raphael, Yakko, Donatello, Pinky, Carl Weezer, whomever, just from me mm -hmm. have spoken to. Yeah. Hundreds. And often the parents of these sweet babies who don't make it keep in touch with me mm -hmm. and say, oh my gosh, we heard you have throat cancer. We're praying for you. We're thinking good thoughts. Here's a picture of you talking to Chad six months before he died. He's mm. been gone 20 years now, but you'll never know. Are you kidding me? Are you oh. kidding me? I never, I, I will never have to know what that's like. Mo, yeah. you know, Mo and I, Knockwood, will never have to. Um, but that's what the book is about. It's not a compendium of, and then I did, and then you know right. me from, and then I won an Emmy. It's, it's about these characters really are powerful. Yes. And um, no, and it's, it's really compelling how you weave you. their effect on you. Yeah. Into your struggles, your triumphs, and and and. For both of you, I mean, and Mose plays a very important part in the book too. He does. Also in two pictures, two yes. photographs. Yes, 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 yes. Not one, but two. One of those pictures yeah. was Rob's getting chemo, right? And he's got a really, got the, got yeah. The it was Mo came to visit me? And chemo. I, I, I probably came to about half the sessions. I yes. tried to come to every one, but at the time I was, I was, I was doing that uh, car campaign, and what those, a those friend, people, man. those people. Uh, it needed me a, like a so like they made a hundred commercials. What a is month. your buddy having? Your buddy yeah, cancer? your buddy's got cancer. Well, but I mean, I does. but I, I I came I came as and and sat with my pal. Yes, because I knew that nothing was more important than laughing, and that yeah. one thing we have is we crack each other the hell up. Yeah, no matter what we're doing, where we're talking, we just always we either we have these two. <laughs> Cockney voices that we go into, yeah. and we just speak completely filthily to each other, <laughs> either on the phone or we text Not each other. We text. Right, we can't do it here because yeah. if we if we did, YouTube would we'd uh, go straight to hell. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit of a taste of it in that text group. Text oh yeah, oh my yeah. gosh, a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit. So uh, 
Yeah, there's a little, no, bit, but there's a little typical... bit of the C word that, that we, yeah. but we use it with affection as yeah. Brits do. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's like saying do. buddy it in, is. in Britain. But, but yeah. so, but so we, we just, I just knew that if I could go there and oh, crack man. my buddy mm. up, it might make the, the, the day go a little yeah. easier. And that's typically of Maurice, the first time he came, you know, I have the needle in my arm and he says, hey, buddy, uh, what are you doing? I said, well, at the moment, I'm, I got, I'm trying to kill this nasty cancer. It's pissing me off. He says, well, I'm, can I come up? Wait, you know, he doesn't hang out at Doheny and Wilshire, yeah. at Tower Hematology Oncology, but he was there. And then, of course, it's in the book. As soon as he shows up, yes. the doctors, the nurses, the, everybody knows yep. that Pinky and the Brain is here. Then they find out Morbo's here. Then they find out Raphael's here. Then they find out Kiff Croker's here and Toucan Sam. And one, and, and one or yeah. two of the other patients, it's too, the also greatest. got a smile yeah. out of it. Yeah, know? oh, totally. And so, then yeah. people tell me, oh, my God, when your buddy Maurice showed up, that way. So... It is about it, it. It it's about all of that and those characters and the combination of all, it. It conspired to help me through my own time, mm -hmm. uh, and I knew I was going to get through. My doctor said, "Here's the deal. We're pretty sure we can cure you, but before we do, we almost have to kill you. It's rough." Yeah, and it was. It was brutal. Yeah. His doctor's last name was Goldfinger. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Pretty much going to have to kill <laughs> you, Mister <laughs> Person. <laughs> it was great. Goldfinger. But, I knew that I was going to get through it. I uh, uh, was your doctor wearing a neighbor jacket when he said yeah, this? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Right. All, but but the children whom we I relate are the children whom I cite in the book. Their parents knew they weren't going to make it. Yeah, they were just trying to make sure their kid got a chance to talk to Raphael. Yeah, and and uh, how on yeah, right? Your yeah. parents are here. Yeah, how on earth do people get through that, you guys? And I know it happens every day. Yeah. Yeah. And the moment, the day that I was diagnosed, the minute I was diagnosed, neither my wife nor I said, why me? Why? Because I knew at that very moment with this experience mm -hmm. that I've been lucky enough to have, that at that very moment, there's somebody getting a call about their four-year-old saying, Mr. and Mrs. Paulson, yeah. I think yeah. you need to come down to the yeah. hospital and we need to have a serious talk. Yeah. And it happens every day. Yeah. yeah. Too many times. Mo, I mean, Rob's been really obviously transparent, but when you when he told you what was ahead for him as his friend, as his my, soul well, brother, my, I mean, how did you feel? I, I literally, I, The first I felt, thing he said was, can I have your stuff? Yeah. If I don't make it. No. I mean, he That's, called me up and he, normally it's, you know, we're, we joke with each other and he was not, I mean, first of all, he called, he just called, he said, are you chattable? Uh, and I said, sure. And you know, the phone rang and he said, hey, listen, and there was no British accent. There was no pinky. There was no goofing around in other voices. It was just, gotta <laughs> tell you. Uh, I'm only telling a handful of people this, and you're, you're one of them. But uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm looking I'm looking down the barrel of some throat cancer, and uh, I just want you to know, you know, I'm not going to, you know, and that's and I I felt whoop, that yeah. that thing went whoop, yep. whoop. yeah. I just went, Jesus Christ, come on! There are you know serial killers walking around in perfectly good health. <laughs> Why <laughs> the hell? R is my pal, the sweetest guy I know. Why is he getting yes. throat cancer? Yeah. He right. uses his throat for a living. Yes. You know, and 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 you know we make plans I mean, and God laughs. Give him give him yeah. cancer somewhere that something he doesn't use. <laughs> Boy, don't what? even start what? now. Ah. Covering having been married for 30 years. Let's... Cancer. No, I'm not wishing to stick I know. Cancer. Ah. But like I was like, come caps, on. His right. Yeah. Uh, and sure, you know, so, eyes up, everyone. And I just at that, that moment, I mean, not, I'm not tooting my own horn at all. I just no, went, no, no. I got to be there. Away. For him. Yes. I got to be there for him as he much was. as I can be, yeah. because I know, I know the I know the healing power of of you know yeah. having people around Absolutely. you while you're getting this scary friggin' thing done to you. And people he was are pouring poison into yeah. your body to kill the cancer, but it's also going to affect the rest of you. Yes. Yeah. And I just thought, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to show yeah. up. I hate hospitals, but I'm going to show oh, up was. for my pal here. And uh, Never missed know, a beat. The power of who you put around you yeah, and their it's like, energy it's like and it was their already, hopes. It was like Pinky in the brain and Rob and Mo. Yeah. They're, they're, they're both great friends. Yes. Yes. You know, they're he both He took great. over my world and saved Yes, me. my friend. In that world, you won. Yeah. Right. The reason Pinky in the brain works is that it's not about a show. It's not a show about taking over the world. It's a show about a friendship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that's why people resonate with it. Yeah. And when, when, you know, over the years, he and I have just become just better and better and better oh. friends. And with the, with the things that are in, with the incidents mentioned in 
<laughs> voice lessons by yes. Rob Paulson, also along with Mike on, Fleeman. Yeah. Um, also an audiobook narrated by, by Rob Paulson. Yes. Paulson. Forward spoken Ash by Paulson. Ash Paulson. My son wrote the forward exactly. and spoke it, yeah. Um, I think that, uh, you know, as we went along, our friendships got, just got stronger and stronger. Oh, and right. I don't know, it's just I, the new pinky in the brain has that dimension to it. Yeah, I love yeah. that's beautiful. It totally does. Yeah. I love that. It's authentic. I think that, that that's why it translates. We do, love, we love each other. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think have been the keys to your longevity, to your success? As humans, as actors, I mean, what? I just hope I don't get cancer. Yeah. Well, you're oh. done, buddy. You've already done yeah. that. Oh, I'm done you're, you're done that. with that. Yeah. Um, we're like, moving you're, on, Rob. Well, well, you're two years now, right? Three. Three years. Yeah. Cancer yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, the secret? Now you just got to be careful crossing streets. <sighs> no kidding. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I think about that a lot because we really are lottery winners. Uh, yeah. There are... If, if I knew how to bottle whatever the heck oh, it is man. I've done right, I would make <laughs> more money selling, selling the man. bottles than I would working as... As a voice actor, yeah. I don't. I just all I try to do is is show up and remember I'm there to help them make their project. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm there to make their day easier. Whether it's a vibrating cell phone on my butt cheek, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of giving me a little thrill feel? right now. <laughs> or uh, I mean, whether what you know, whether it's a cartoon, whether it's a commercial on camera. I got I got yeah. on camera a couple of years ago. I always approach my work as it's not about me. I mean, obviously, there's going to be a part of it that they're going to make it about you, and mm -hmm. you're a performer, and you've mm -hmm. got to take your, you know, your, you know, a little bit of space. Uh, otherwise, you're just this, you know, in the corner like this. But you, you're there to help, and it, it's just you're part of a team. So yeah. I always, I always, you know, try to come at it that way. And yeah. uh, I think that's a big it kills part any of ugliness of my ego that. Mm -hmm. That you know, we, I mean, we all carry it with us. Yes. We wouldn't be performers yeah. if we didn't. Right. No. Right. But, We're our best and worst fans. It's <laughs> it's important. I mean, you have to have a healthy ego, but confidence and humility go utterly hand in hand. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we have had the good fortune of working with Mr. Spielberg on more than several occasions. And when you have the opportunity to see how the best of the best and the biggest of the big, uh, who could behave any way they want, and they are decent and kind. Uh, then it really gives you kind of your own example on how to behave your own self. Mm -hmm. That uh, that absolutely can be said. I, I just got to put in uh, for Matt Groening. As yes, well. same thing. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a, just a, just a sense. just a very cool guy, you know, and he has no sense of being above it all yep. at all. You just you would never you would never know. I mean, he's just he he comes to work. He wears a comfortable yep. shirt and jeans, Downer. and he's all he wants to do is just make the show funnier. Yes, yeah. so and it's ever a, sense yeah. of uh, elevation mm -hmm. or of uh, being. He, because they're smart enough to know that part of their genius is knowing who to hire yeah. and then turning them loose. While yeah. being, by the way, quite elevated and quite... I mean, Absolutely. Great. Matt is a genius. Yeah, look at his you track know. record. Right. But right. they, but they, they're, it's not about them. Yeah, their name's on it, and they make a sh ton of money. They should. You know, the Simpsons put a network on the map. Yes. But part of the genius of people like that is saying, oh, I know, I'm going to hire Maurice LaMarche to do this and let him go. And, and that's the best thing you could do, totally, right? Totally, but that's yeah. it, not, they don't, not everybody can do that because yeah. their egos won't allow them to. Right. So now then we, when, when, and you guys know, you've been around here a while, when you meet somebody who fancies themselves to be a much bigger deal than they really are, you know, my first thought is, I hope you save your money, son. And when you can work with people who, who could do that and they don't and they go out of their way to say, Rob, man, great work. Thank you, Stephen. No, no, no. You really got it. I mean, that's that's really great. Yeah. So I think having the good fortune to see how people like that behave yeah. helps me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like Mo. When I go into work, I want to give the, the producers an embarrassment of riches with respect to my work and say, I don't know which take to use because this guy's killing all of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Billy does that. Tress yeah. does that. Yeah. Nancy yeah. does that. Nancy. I mean, they're all really... Dave Herman. Yeah. So yeah. DiMaggio, they're all good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, can I tell? Yeah. I'm going to tell a little story real quick. So, a few years back, I was doing a, a casting session with Susan Blue, mm -hmm. and we, they were casting for some new animation show. And I was uh, the engineer in the session. I was recording all the auditions. Oh, great! Everybody was reading for a lot of the same parts. I had never known about you guys. Oh, okay. Anybody? 
Um, what the hell's wrong with you? Well, I just didn't know, right? This was a, a, a long time ago. I was going to say, this was so yeah. 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 It was while. such an yeah. eye-opening experience oh, because, <laughs> because during the earlier part of the day, we had the the newer mm -hmm. animation people that were getting started and all that oh, stuff. Oh, I, okay. And I'm thinking to myself, and I'm recording their audition, I'm going, wow, man, these guys are and gals are so good. It's amazing. And then in the latter part of the afternoon, the guys that are constantly working oh, all the time is that right start coming in oh interesting for the auditions and i was like holy cow wow like i could i didn't even know that it could get to that tier of awesome of good really what yeah a cool the stuff. pro the pro guy you guys that do what you do and people hire you that, every day day in and day <laughs> out to do what you do is for a huge reason and the yeah. reason is that they can let you in there wind you up let you go yeah. and you make whatever they have better Thank you. Well, so, that's the idea. That's the idea. It's a collaborative you effort. You're, yeah. you're a musician. All, you know, you yeah. don't want to. If if your bass player and your and your drummer suck, then and you got, suck. They do suck. <laughs> then you suck. And there's no rhythm. You got nothing, yeah. man. If we got on, if we don't have a good script, we got nothing. If the script isn't well executed, they got nothing. Yeah. And yeah. and we get that. And yeah. I think because it's not about this. It's not about how we look. It's about pure talent. And and and. and bringing, you know, breathing life into these characters that yeah. people go way out of their way to create. Yeah. Um, it's not just about fitting the suit. Yeah. Um, and it also, frankly, keeps me on my toes because I know that I got to keep hustling for work. Yeah. It's the net, Eric yeah. Bowes is in town. Jeff Bennett comes yeah. to town. Oh my God. Who, I, yeah. When those who, guys, he, when each of those guys hit the scene. Oh man. Uh, you know, you, you, you sort of do a little double dig. Like, wow, where yeah. did he come from? I well, thought I was good, but I better keep club. it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, uh, yeah. But, but now it's like, okay, now there's a new standard. Yeah. You know? I mean, not from a sense of regret, but if you were starting out now mm -hmm. in voiceover, what would you, how would you approach it? I would watch every episode of B.O. Buzz Weekly first. Yes, yeah, certainly. There, it's, I, a, it's a different technological game though. That's it is. Sure. I have to say that I don't know that my process would be any different. I, I, I have to say that because of social media and YouTube, and I call it kind of like the uh, star, um, not star search. That's my, how old I am. No. Um, <laughs> the uh, uh, um, American Idol syndrome. Mm -hmm. People are picked from utter obscurity, often who are very talented, and. So what happened, and then, you know, within two or three weeks, they're in the middle of the show and they're in Hollywood week. Yep. And a person who's 18 or 19 will be interviewed. And of course they haven't slept for two days. And they say, oh my God, if I don't make it through to the next week, I gotta go back to Tennessee, my career's over. At 19. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, all I've ever wanted to do. I've dreamt, it's like for my whole life. You're, uh, yeah, you're- there, Yeah, and I, when I came here, uh, somebody asked me the other day, what, what um, uh, obstacles really were difficult for you. Well, nothing that I didn't expect. I came here understanding that people would say, no, 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 maybe, no, no, yeah. yes, no. It's just the nature of the beast. So nothing happened to me that I didn't expect. Mm -hmm. But I think now that, and I, I don't mean to sound like, why can't they be like we were perfect in every way? I think a lot of kids see Star Search and see somebody pick from obscurity and go, I want to be a star. Like, I'm not an actor, I'm a movie star. This is a, 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 a marathon. Yeah. Yes. It's not about being a star. It's about doing your 10,000 hours, your craft, working at it. Mm -hmm. I'm better now than I was 10 years ago. I yeah. hope I'll be better 10 years from now. Yeah. Yeah. I never want to stop getting better, never want to stop learning. Um, so for me, I, I think, you know what I think? I think I might have come out here and got into voice over earlier, because I came out here ostensibly to do live action yes, yes. and music. I was a singer first who became an actor, but there wasn't nearly the opportunity for animation, voice work, video games, all that stuff right. now. So now we see people who come up to us, up to us and say, man, I just want to be like Troy Baker. I just want to be a voice actor. My response is then it's small v, large a. It's acting, improv, music, all of that, the opera, put yourself on stage. Mm -hmm. I know you're an actress you're a singer and you've been, you know, you, you, Chuck's been doing music forever. The opportunity just to perform and often, uh, like in my case, and I think most too, the opportunity presents itself. And as they say, luck is when opportunity meets preparation. Right. So you put yourself in a position to get lucky. 
yes. so that somebody can see you and say, oh, that kid's pretty good. Um, I don't know that you necessarily have to be in LA anymore, but to do what we do, right. you, you still do, do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, the preparation part, because I, I, I hear this all the time. People say, well, you know, I've been I've been doing this for a couple months. Right. I've done yeah. 50 I just took auditions. Some lessons I've done 100 auditions and nothing's happening. I'm like. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Well, so it's like that, my first it, year, that immediate gratification. Yeah, my first year uh, auditioning, uh, I got nothing. I mean, it was literally a year. Until I booked Inspector Gadget mm -hmm. from the time that and my agent took an interest in me. 50 auditions, 100? Maybe? I'm sure. I was yeah. in there all the time. I, yeah. was, I was their, their newest, and they just opened up the voiceover department at the William Morris Agency, mm -hmm. and I was their, their sort of first discovery. And, uh, doing stand up. And, and yeah. doing stand up. I was mm -hmm. doing, uh, I was doing, and Nina Nissenholz, who had opened the department, came up to me and said, with all those voices you do, you could start to create your own characters. Yeah. Would you be interested in doing voiceover? And right. I said, I'd always heard that was a closed door, but sure. I want to work. So, she, you know, I, yeah. the good news was I had a pretty decent stand up career. I was opening for Rodney Dangerfield. Yes. Yeah. So I wasn't like, oh, I got to be a voiceover artist. What I got to be one. I was like, oh, I'll be, be a Oh, I'll, I, all right, I'll come in for that audition, but I got to. You know, tomorrow okay. I'm running off yeah. to do. Yeah, I'm opening for you know, George Benson yeah. or, or 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 Rodney or whatever. Uh, anyway, long and the short of it is, um, you got to be patient. I think if I was starting now, though, I would get on more on top of the technology. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd learn to edit. I'd learn how to, you know, how to actually, you know, have a little studio in my house. I'm still that guy that goes in right. to my agency you do? to read for things because wow. I have no idea how to work a board, a soundboard, anything like that. And I also need feedback. I need a yeah. director there. Yeah. I like yeah. to be yeah. guided through. Right. And in a way, more than faster, slower, louder, softer. I mean, you yeah. know, talk to me about what really the guy wants. Right. Because the character's wants is the most powerful thing. That's yeah. why I think another reason brain works so well, if I can yes. just revisit that. Um, but I definitely, I would definitely become more tech savvy. And I think I'd also learn to be a little bit more internet savvy, a little more social media savvy. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. part of it now. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's and at 61, I'm beginning to learn to put stuff up on my Instagram feed. You know, <laughs> put I go, stuff up on I'm my like, Instagram. I'm never thinking here, about everywhere. He's you know, tweeting now. Here he I is. am, you know, here I am with, you know. I mean, I should probably take a selfie of you and me and sure. put it up there. You know, us. I should um, probably. I should probably. <laughs> I'm not thinking yes, along Mo, those lines. I'm not going. Not I'm not going, my life is so fascinating. It sounds a bit I like a dental stop it. visit. It well, take a picture of to. me. Or here's yeah. a picture of you know, grapefruit. You know. yeah. People put the craziest yeah. stuff. I mean, there was one time that Mark Hamill, Wayne mm -hmm. Knight, Rob, and oh, I we went working. for lunch yeah. at, at the, the Cheesecake Factory. There was no social media. It wasn't just ha wasn't quite happening yet. And I just thought, God, if I had to put that picture up now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you oh, know, my gosh. Newman, Luke, Pinky yeah. in the Brain. <laughs> yes. You yeah. know, you get a ton of play. Yeah. But I just am not. You could do it as a line. throwback. Yeah. Yes. Well, I didn't take a picture that day. Uh, what a picture that would have made. <laughs> Your phone didn't have a camera of that. My phone didn't have a camera. Yeah. You My phone had a little hole in it that yes. I talked into. Yeah. yeah. And it flipped open. <laughs> like, a, like a, like a, what do you call like it? Beat me up. Yeah. <laughs> You know, no, I, but I've I, got to get away from Luke Skywalker. He's made all sorts of <laughs> good points. Um, I think, but still, in all, you have to love the process. Yes. I love to perform. Yeah. I, I, when people offer you an opportunity to work, take it. Mm -hmm. I just love to do it. And and if you can't, if you're if you're in a position where you're kind of going, that sounds like fun. This isn't for you. Right. If you're in a position where you go, I can't not do it. It's like a drug. I any I'm, any form of performance. Any form yeah. has to be that. Yeah. You exactly. gotta wanna really wanna yes. do the whole the experience. Yes. Um but But I, there's a way to perform if it's a hobby versus sure. a career. And that's not the bad level either. Of investment, the level of totally. expectation. If it's a, if it's a hobby, return. stay 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 in your town. Yeah, stay home do because do community it's, theater, keep your job. You know, if it's just a hobby, if it's just something, but it's like if it possesses you. And you just go, I don't know what my life would be like without right. putting out creativity Cellular. into the world. Yeah. But you can do it at home now with YouTube and do all kinds right. of stuff and maybe yeah. scratch that ish. Because right. when it's kind of heartbreaking when people who are, you know, 42 come up to me and say, Mr. Paulson, I just want to tell you, not only I'm a big fan, but you're very inspirational. I read your book. And uh, I think it's time for me to make the jump. I have three kids and I live in Watertown, New York, and I'm a chemistry professor. But I'm really thinking it's time for me to move to L.A. Mm. And I don't want to say to him, 
don't. Don't. Right. <laughs> but, Stop! Right? But you're living in Watertown, New York. Yes. It's 40% less to live there. Mm -hmm. So whatever you think you need to come out here money-wise, triple it. Yeah. Yep. And you... You Times can, six months to a year. Yes. Or two. And this is a town where a starter house is a million dollars. Yeah. Oh my God. You know, yes. And you, a little 1,400 square foot, you know, yes. three bedroom. Room. Right. The logistical, practical aspects of moving to LA may not be for you. Right. Now, if you're 20, in my case, 22 when I got here, and you have no financial encumbrances, you're not married, you have no children, you can be selfish. It's about you. Yeah. Fire away. Yep. Give it a shot. Often, uh, it'll break your parents' heart. It certainly, I still remember my sweet mother standing on the porch as I'm driving in my Aww. Honda in her chenille bathrobe going, oh my God, you're going to, you know, but. You had a Honda? Yeah. And you were the voice of Honda I, for a Yes, while. right. I had that's a Honda, you Honda were, goes were, faster, faster. Well, you were Mr. Circle. Opportunity. I was Mr. Opportunity. <laughs> that's what I'd say. But, um, but it's so difficult to, I, I don't want to rain on somebody's parade, but I want to say, dude, seriously, you're 42 with three children. Right. right. You, you can't right. play at home and have fun and maybe you'll make some dough, but I promise you, even now, look, I've been rich and I've been poor, rich is way better, but I still don't get work if I put the money first. I get work because I have the same Jones to do the gig as I did when I was 15. That's beautiful. Yep. That's yeah. what makes That's me what money. That's what it takes. Yes. Yeah. So yes. if you're coming out and going- The gig is the gravy, but you have to love the-, the You have to love the process. The job is-, is And if somebody bad. comes out and says, man, I met this guy, I saw what, what kind of dough those guys make. I want to do that because I do a really great SpongeBob. Yeah. You're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So is there anything that we haven't asked you that you- Well, thank God. God. Want to? No, there's nothing I want to. If everything you've asked me, I wanted to. Do. You almost sound like Orson there. I don't want. I don't, it, there's nothing I want to talk about. Uh, <laughs> give me a jury. But is there anything we haven't? A question we haven't asked you that you want uh, us to ask you? No, I. You guys are. Do you are feel so good at excavated? this? Excavated. Yes. I, well, you guys are so kind to us and being very eviscerated, given, decimated. Yeah. You know, which bothered and bewildered. Are are we? Yeah. No, you're always so kind to us. It's very yeah. sweet of you. Well, he goes both ways. My gosh, yeah. you guys. So I mean, one of the things about, like, you know, We're obviously. Very honored and proud of, I mean, you know, just. Isn't it cool that we can all, we have the kind yeah. of friends. Yeah. That you can call up on the phone. I, you look totally. at the phone. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you look at the phone, you go, oh my God, I got, I've got all these world-class talents. Yeah. Who are beloved by hundreds of millions of people. Yeah. And they're my buddies. Yeah. And they're really nice people. And they're nice people. How great is that? How does that happen? Uh, but I think it's great that totally. when people, you know, because people discover this show. We've we have people. We've been at this for a while, and people were getting new viewers all the time. And it's really cool when they'll go back and see because you guys have been on yeah multiple shows with us in different permutations. Thank you. But it's cool when when you can see that you guys are timeless. Your your integrity is something that never goes out of style. There could be different trends and demographics going on in the business, but who you are, who you are, your character is timeless. Thank and you. that's yeah. something that really resonates with us, resonates with with our viewers. And you know, we yeah. we curate who we want to sit and talk to and celebrate yeah. and, and have because we know what you guys are giving to our viewers Thank is you, really sweetie. powerful. So we want to be you. we want to be careful with yeah. that. And so you're always you always deliver. Yeah, and not only that, you, you know what's really do. cool is that, you know, this is season nine of wow. Beer Buzz Congratulations Weekly. Right? That's that a season big nine deal. Of Beer Buzz Weekly. But how many do you do in a, in a the, season? Don't worry about that. Okay. The cool oh, deal is this. A Here's lot. the cool deal. We had both of you guys on during season one. Yeah, oh, you right. were some of our first guests. And so yeah. you guys were some of our first guests. So wow. we get to we get to not only talk to you guys. And then, but look back, yeah. uh, Stacy and I look back at where you were then, what you were doing, and then fast forward nine years later, what you've gone through, where yeah. you're at now, and where you're planning on going. Yeah. And it's fascinating that, it, but one thing has never changed. When we met both of you nine years ago, you're the same people today. Thank you, buddy. That's In very fact, yeah. you're, you're more talented, well, like you said. Well, you've known these guys a lot <clears throat> longer than I have. Yeah, but still, I mean, you guys <laughs> are other same you people. Guys... You stay grounded. You know, you get more yeah. work. Like you said, you've been rich, you've been poor, uh, but but you've never changed who yeah. Rob is or who Mo is, and yeah. that's well, good peeps, right? Not everyone can absolutely. say that. To coin a, um, a one of my heroes, uh, we've worked really hard for this privilege, and and 
Make no mistake, it is it is an absolute privilege to be in this position. Yeah. Um, uh, and we know it. I think that's another part of it, is that we get how really fortunate we are. Yeah. Um, and um, thank you for having us. This it's, is I, I, I always say it's, it's like winning the lottery. Mm -hmm. Except we took the twenty-six annual payments. Yeah, of, yeah, the twenty-six the annual side. payment. It keeps giving. You know, right? I just yeah. keep just let me work. Let me keep working. Yeah. I I'd rather this Amen. than having you know gotten uh, gone on an audition, got in a huge hit sitcom that ran a season and a half, You're done. where I played yeah. the best friend, and then it's over. Yeah. yeah, you know, and maybe I made you know a couple million bucks doing that, or whatever in this alternate scenario. But then I never work again. No. Yeah. Yes. No, yeah. No, 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 yes. no, 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 yes. no, no. Let well, me, let me be. Um, um, we, um, be helpful. we love you guys and we know the abundance train will continue to pull up to your oh, station what? because why what I am it? always right. And I think what that in this? honor of Pinky and the Brain, yes. whatever question you pick These out, you questions. answer as Pinky, Pinky or the Brain. brain. Right, mystery so, question. Yes. Pick whichever one Are you like. ready for your mystery, mystery day? <laughs> Don't be late. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door for your ah, mystery. Will he day. be a day? Will he be a, a dream or a dud? Or a, a dud. dud, right? Oh. I remember that. I know that was a Milton yeah, Bradley. Milton game, Bradley. Right? And if you don't like the question, throw it out throw and grab it in, another grab one. It. We'll just keep right. going. To I hate this like, question. Do you like? You haven't even looked, looked at, at it yet. Well, Sense it. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Is that good for you, Mars? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do? I think so. I know. I ask you. I ask you this question? Or do, no, or yes. do we you can answer it as yourself or you can ask each other. Oh, that would be funny. Why We've don't never I done ask that. You as Pinky. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll, here, let me ask you. No, I'm going to I'm going to ask you. This is oh, my is that question how it to works? ask you. Do you Let's do it. it? Oh, sure. okay, Let's do ahead. it. Or you can how about this? You can both answer each question. Pinky? Yes. Why? Oh, wait, Pinky. Why? Pinky. I want to talk to Pinky now. Yes, Brian. Yes. Sorry, Brian. Pinky. Yes, Brian. How have your ideas about older people changed as you have aged? Well, Speaking to a man who has a prostate like an Idaho potato, <laughs> um, I suppose I can't really get as pissed off as I used to because I can't do it. <laughs> so how's that, Blaine? Yes, wonderful right. answer. Pete. Yes. Now, I should, and that was with your lovely mummy and daddy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We now then, clean. That's Here, where the this is for you, Brain. What, Brain? What will you never, ever do, no matter how old you become? Interesting, both of these questions. Right? Are aging. About our aging. What will I never ever do? What will you never ever do, no matter how old you become? Point. <laughs> Be young again. Oh! Oh! No! No! And and Excellent succeed answer. in taking over the world because that the show would be over. I love that. What no. will you never know how to be young again? What a uh, pithy oh, answer. Man. Very existential. Oh, I know, I know. Well, you know, I been needing to pith for a little while now. So. <laughs> He's very pissed off. Yeah, that's right. You had a piss buildup. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, well, thanks to my lot large prostate. And these stuff. are yes. nothing's happening anyway. So there's a lot so. of, um, a lot of gastrointestinal. I know. I'm so sorry. Uh, is YouTube okay because with that? Oh my god. I come oh. from a medical yeah, family. Yeah, they don't care about uh, yeah. that. There's a doctor and a nurse sitting oh. here. <laughs> yeah. Hello, nurse. Nice to see you. All right. Well, listen. What's up, doctor? I, I would say, in a serious answer to this yes. question, my ideas about older people. Uh, I am now an older people. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I, I'm the very forgiving. I, I'm very forgiving of of the at the lack of alacrity mm. that at which uh, people it, it, on my side of sixty move because my you know names and knees. That's the other thing. My memory. The two things that go first are names and knees. Mm -hmm. I'll remember the thing, but I won't remember the name of the thing. Right. And I reach for that all the time. That didn't happen twenty years ago. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I am moving slower, and I certainly am very, very now understanding of anybody north of sixty and moving a little mm -hmm. slower because yeah. you just can't. Yeah. Stuff yeah. is creaky. Stuff is painful. Yeah. I, a, I, what I will never ever do, no matter how, and it's the truth. I will never lose my ability to be amazed or enchanted. I, mm -hmm. I, I never, never, never want to. Not be a, a go. Wow! See, he's How the, does that happen? He's the optimist. I'm the pessimist. Yeah. I'm yes. one that I'll I never am. be young again. I but just am like, how did that happen? Glass yeah. half full, or, glass or, half empty. Yeah, check this out. You got to wait a minute. You got to see this. I don't ever want. I will never lose yeah, that. That's why yeah. I want to be. That's why I want a. That's why you a guys bumper work. sticker that says, "What would Rob Paulson do?" <laughs> yeah, but that's <laughs> why, but that's I want to be more pinky. That's why you guys work. Yeah, but the funny. 
Yeah, the that's funny right. thing though, and that, that is that's other. brain. Yeah, you know, yeah. Brain, but yeah, the funny is thing that... is, is that you're both in your own way still very childlike. Oh, totally. You know what I mean? And there's you, Ask you, our that, that you'll never lose, no matter yeah. how old you yes. get. And I love that. We need to do a Kaminsky method. With yeah, you guys. Oh, that would be great. Are you yeah. me? Oh, in a heartbeat. Um, thank um, you guys. We love you guys both so much. Oh, thank you for love coming. You guys. Twenty twenty is going to be off the charts and beyond. Yes, ma'am. Here, I here. like this Kaminsky method. I, I do too. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do that. Yeah, Pinky we'll and the Brain Kaminsky method. It. We'll We're, produce that. We'll thank produce you. that, and I can play Michael thank Douglas, you, buddy. or thank I can you, play Eleanor. Can, love you guys. Thank Mo? you for reading my book. Oh, Thanks, God, man, baby. Well, that concludes our two-part episode with Maurice Lamarche and Rob Paulson, Pinky and the Brain. Yes, we don't have to add, and neither do you. So just loop it. Yes. Absolutely. Follow all of us on social. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. No, excuse me. And I, don't, I don't love you. I don't love you. you. Don't. <laughs> I love the she just likes you as a friend. <laughs> so territorial. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but just remember what, boys? You, you always, always have time for a little buzz. buzz. Yeah! Hi, I'm Maurice LaMarche. And I'm Rob Paulson. And we are better known as... Pinky. And the Brain. Yes. Yes. And we just got buzzed with Chuck. And Stacy Nerf! Come on, come on, come on and get with us. Leo Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo that Rock. Rock. The voice of a demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosbitrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time, and remember, you always have time for a little